In the Bible we're told that Eve was tempted by Satan to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God had commanded Adam and Eve not to eat of the fruit of that tree. If you do, ye will surely die. Isn't that the commandment? Lucifer, through his agent Satan, on the other hand, told Eve, God lied to you. He's holding back the fact that you too can become God. But first you have to eat of the fruit of this tree. And if you do, you will surely not die, but shall become as gods. From the religious aspect, we see that as the fall of man because man disobeyed God. The mysteries, on the other hand, look at this in a different light. In the mystery schools, they refer to this mystical time of coming out of the age of innocence as the Luciferian philosophy. Here's the way they look at it. Here's their metaphor for the end of innocence. They don't believe that there ever was a God or that there ever is a God aside from man himself. And man has not reached that state yet, but can, this is what they teach in the lodges, that if you perfect yourself as the temple of the God within and become Christed, we've all heard this in the New Age movement, you too can become God. Here's their story. Adam and Eve were held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust, cruel, and vindictive God until Lucifer, through his agent Satan, set man free from this garden by giving him the gift of intellect. Through the use of intellect, man will conquer the earth, will conquer nature, and will himself become God. It's taught in every Masonic temple in this land, every secret brotherhood, every secret society, every mystical temple, every occult organization teaches the Luciferian philosophy. The new age is now dawning. The priests of the ancient mystery religions are in charge right now. You cannot identify an enemy unless you know the enemy, and you cannot fight a battle if you know nothing about the battle tactics of your opponent. And we had better damn well find out, and we had better do it very quickly. Now, all of this that I thought I knew so well and understood has become even more mysterious to me now as I know that I am battling against something that is almost incomprehensible and I have had to do it alone by myself not trusting anyone else not letting them in for fear that they would corrupt my mind and I would be led down the wrong path. Many have been misled along this path and are worshiping the fallen angel that we know as Lucifer. Many believe that Lucifer and Satan are the same. Many people believe that they are totally different entities and that Satan is evil and Lucifer is not. But Lucifer rebelled against God, according to the Bible, and was expelled from heaven and flung to the earth to be the master of the material world. 
the master of the earth. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning star? Now if Lucifer is indeed Satan, how this transformation took place, I am not wise enough to know. If they are different, if Lucifer is not Satan, then I have not yet discovered where Satan came from. If there really is a devil, that devil exists in the hearts and minds of men and nowhere else. Nowhere else. For if you take man out of the equation, evil ceases to exist, and there is left only the laws of the universe and the balance of nature. Put man in the equation, and before long, evil will rear its ugly head and present itself to the world. Life is a continuous confrontation with forks in the road. One is good, one is bad. But it is a constant battle within ourselves. And you could always wander completely off the road altogether and become lost. Totally and completely lost. If you take the wrong fork at one of these junctions, there is always the opportunity at the next fork to get back on track. Isn't it amazing? Now when all of it is placed in perspective, it's so much easier to understand. For until man once again confronts the real nature of his own condition and of the world around him and accepts full responsibility for his actions without blaming anyone else or any devil, Until then, we will always be a puppet on the end of someone else's string. And ladies and gentlemen, when that someone pulls that string, we will dance. I hope you understand it takes a great deal of love for America and for Americans to tell you this. Good night, and God bless you all.